An interesting, if highly technical, preprint of a new DNA study has revealed the sequencing of the genome of Mesolithic aurochs. The paper, which is only currently a preprint and has not been certified by peer review, revealed the genetic makeup of the fearsome ancient beasts, the ancestors of domestic cattle, was achieved by using imputation to fill in the blanks. The study, entitled A High Coverage Mesolithic Aurochs Genome and Effective Leveraging of Ancient Cattle Genomes Using Whole Genome Imputation, was published by Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in New York. The paper's abstract read, Ancient genomic analyses are often restricted to utilising pseudo-haploid data due to low genome coverage. Leveraging low coverage data by imputation to calculate phased diploid genotypes that enable haplotype-based interrogation and SMP calling at unsequenced positions is highly desirable. This has not been investigated for ancient cattle genomes, despite these being compelling subjects for archaeological, evolutionary and economic reasons. All of which I translate to, this works, and for some reason it hasn't been done before. The team tested the approach by sequencing auroch and early medieval European cow, and combined them with published individuals, two ancient and three modern. Part of the paper read, we demonstrate that imputation of ancient cattle, including the extinct European aurochs, is a feasible methodology for future studies. The success of the imputation of aurochs implies segregating haplotypes in the modern reference panel, most likely from introgression. While damage is potentially disruptive, this is correctable with the deamination-aware approach. Imputation accuracy is high and is relatively consistent across the downsampled coverages, demonstrating the feasibility of imputing ancient genomes as low as 0.5 times or even lower. This is demonstrated through the consistency in the analysis between imputed and high-quality genotypes. The successful imputation of ancient cattle represents the opportunity for haplotype-aware analysis in the future. Now, if you're still with me, I did tell you it was technical, but it's about to get a bit more simple. Aurochs, scientifically known as Bos primogenius, were majestic and formidable wild cattle that played a significant role in the ecological and cultural landscape of Europe, Asia and North Africa. These impressive creatures are the ancestors of our modern domestic cattle and have left a lasting imprint on both natural history and human civilization. Aurochs were characterised by their large size, with males standing around six feet at the shoulder. They possessed a robust build, powerful horns that curved forward, and a distinctive dark-coloured coat. Their physical prowess and imposing stature made them a dominant presence in the regions they inhabited. The beasts once roamed across vast territories encompassing Europe, Asia and North Africa. They thrived in these diverse habitats, from dense forests to open grasslands. Aurochs played a crucial role in shaping the landscapes they inhabited. As large herbivores, they influenced vegetation patterns through grazing and browsing, contributing to the maintenance of diverse ecosystems. Their presence also impacted other species, influencing the behaviour of predators and the distribution of smaller herbivores. Over thousands of years, humans recognised the utility of aurochs for food, leather and labour. The domestication process gradually transformed these wild animals into the domestic cattle we know today. And the cultural significance of aurochs extended beyond practical uses. They became symbols of strength and vitality in various ancient societies. Added to this, horned anthropomorphic entities were rendered, intimating a divine characterisation. And cave paintings in Europe, such as those found at Lascaux, depict aurochs, emphasising their importance to early human societies, whether for ritual or other purposes. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description, or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.